What's up everybody, this is Maurice Weimar and you are watching Extreme Drums. Today, episode number 3 of Extreme Gear and now we'll be doing an unboxing of the new set of mesh heads that I received from Drum Tech. Stay tuned! Before we get started, I would like to thank Drum Tech for being one of the most important partners of Extreme Drums since 2022. So, Marcus, Matthias, I really appreciate you guys. Let's go! And just so you know, these mesh heads will be the ones I'll be playing with the new Varus drum kit together with the Pearl hardware, all right? So in case you missed the two first episodes of Extreme Gear, the cards will be probably here on the screen, so you don't want to miss that out. That's it! Man, I almost forgot that Drum Tech sent me new trigger cables. That's right, transparent trigger cables that go really well with the hardware, you know, so it doesn't show as much as the black cables. And for me, the visuals, the overall look is pretty important. So these are definitely the way to go. Some five meters, some three meters, and one and a half meter trigger cables. Also, some splitters that I'll be testing and um, some extensions, man, lots and lots of stuff. So as you can see, my new drum kit will have a lot of pieces. Hell yes! Trigger cables, check! Let's go for the mesh heads now. Well, not so fast because I've got t-shirts. Life is too short for bad drums. That's about right, drum tech. Two t-shirts, thanks a lot! And now, properly dressed up, let's finally move into the first set of mesh heads. The resonant mesh heads. And you might ask, actually that's an honest question. Why the hell would you use resonant heads on an electronic drum kit? What difference does it make? The answer is pretty interesting. Imagine you have a converted shell, but with traditional resonant heads, all right? Every time you strike the drum, the resonant head will ring. There will be a tone there. Boom, boom. And in order to have it completely silent, you have either to muffle for good that resonant head, or you just switch to resonant mesh heads. And there you have it. Single layer, basic serious mesh heads by Drum Tech. The perfect solution in my opinion. And I've got them for the whole drum kit. 10. 12, 13, 14, and 16 for the floor tom. For the snare drums, which are 2, 13, and 14 inches. Man, this is gonna be real epic. Alright, what's next? Yes, yes, yes. Here you have the ones I'll be using for the snare drums. Real feel serious professional three ply mesh heads with the black belt model, alright? 13 and 14 inches. Uh, these here, for me, are the best mesh heads on the market and I've been using them for more than two years now on uh, the old drum kit and I haven't had a single problem. I've been playing both with nylon tip and wood tip drumsticks, old, new ones, no matter what, flawless, they are pretty, pretty durable. I mean, Two, more than two years playing daily, like heavy playing. I mean, durability is not the issue here, right? The mesh heads for the toms are here. 10, 12, 13, 14, 16 inches. Same as before, real few series professional three ply mesh heads, but not the black belt model as the snare drums, all right? Um, and why do I choose to play with this kind of mesh heads? For one, they are not transparent. What I mean by that is, less than three layers, you will most likely see through the mesh head inside the shells where the internal triggers are, the cables, and for me, that's far from ideal, you know? I don't want to have that feeling of sitting on my, drum, on my drum kit and see all the electronics inside. I want to have it like, you know, solid white. Like, that for me is the closest I can get to an actual acoustic drum kit. So that is really important for me. And second, the feeling of the three ply is 
in my opinion, the closest you can get, again, to a real uh, acoustic drum head. Less than three, three layers, you get a bouncy effect, which is pretty artificial, uh, and with a three-ply, that effect is pretty much gone. You just adjust the tension to your like, and you go for it. So, uh, definitely the way to go, three-ply mesh heads. And for the last, two 20 inches mesh heads for the kick drums, of course. I really would like to mention that Drum Tech has a special place in my heart because the company was one of the first ones to support me even back in the day when Extreme Drums were not as big as it is today. So uh, go and check them out. And of course, thank you so much every single one of you that stayed until the end of the video, right? I see you on the next one.